Two sun systems like Luke Skywalker's home planet Tatooine could support life after all. While the fictional Star Wars landscape is seen as a parched desert world, scientists have now found that a planet orbiting two suns might not only be habitable but could even retain liquid water. As a result, researchers now say double star systems are worth targeting in the search for alien life as a planet situated at the right distance from its suns could be quite hospitable. In the new study published to Nature Communications. Researchers investigated the climate of hypothetical planets in the Kepler-35 system. This binary star system lies in the constellation Cygnus and hosts a massive planet that's roughly eight times the size of Earth with an orbit of 131.5 Earth days. Neglecting the gravitational influence of this giant planet, the researchers created a model for a hypothetical Earth-sized water world in this same system. Then, they investigated how its climate would pan out if it orbited the stellar pair Kepler 35A and B with periods between 341 and 380 days. The study revealed such a planet, if in the right location in the habitable zone, could hold on to its water for a long time and could even support life, according to the researchers. This means that double star systems of the type studied here are excellent candidates to host habitable planets, despite the large variation in the amount of starlight hypothetical planets in such a system would receive, said Max Pop, associate research scholar at Princeton University and the Max Planck Institute of Meteorology. Our research is motivated by the fact that searching for potentially habitable planets requires a lot of effort, so it is good to know in advance where to look, said Siegfried GGL, a Caltech postdoctoral scholar at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. We show that it's worth targeting double star systems. The researchers found that a planet that sits on the far edge of the habitable zone in this double star system would experience dramatic variations in surface temperatures. This cold, water-covered planet would only have a small amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, according to NASA, meaning global average surface temperatures would swing by as much as 3.6 degrees, 2 degrees Celsius, over the course of a year. This is analogous to how, on Earth, in arid climates like deserts, we experience huge temperature variations from day to night, EGGL said. The amount of water in the air makes a big difference. A planet that sits closer to the stars, on the other hand, but still in the habitable zone, would have near constant surface temperatures as a higher amount of water vapor would persist in the atmosphere, acting as a buffer. A planet outside of the outer edge of the habitable zone could be a snowball world completely covered in ice as would happen in a single star system, and one that's too close, sitting closer than the inner edge of the habitable zone, would experience a runaway greenhouse effect, causing it to be an inhospitable Venus-like world. According to the researchers, the hypothetical water-covered planet modeled in the study would be less cloudy than Earth, meaning clearer skies and a more visible double sunset.